Hello everyone and welcome back to the Medby blog. I am really sorry that I have kind of been a bit of a ghost these past couple of weeks because it has been extremely busy. I have moved out of my halls, I'm back home, I have struggled to find a summer job which has been fun and unsuccessful. I, it's just been a bit crazy so I've actually had time now to sit down and record with my nice shiny new camera. So today I thought I would talk about kind of things I've learned through first year graduate entry medical school and can be applied to both undergraduate medicine and other courses as well. So um, make sure you have a scroll through. You can watch it on times too if you want because I know I get very bored watching YouTube videos. So enjoy that. Um, so I guess here we go then. Okay, so my first tip is about lectures and the first point is go to lectures. I wouldn't use the recordings purely to get my lecture content from. This is not only because you are then isolating yourself away from the course but also uh, recordings don't always work and sometimes lecturers don't want to be recorded just purely for personal reasons or because they're discussing uh, patient cases in their lectures and although we get no patient identifiable information it is still best practice just to not record that section. So always go to them. It also is a nice kind of way to see people in the year, maybe those who prefer to study at home rather than around the med school. It also gives you a bit of grounding because I've walked out so many lectures this year and just gone, I've got no idea what went on there. And even just going to making a coffee to get through the next couple of hours and hearing people say the exact same thing, it can mean the world, particularly if you're having a bad day. The other thing about lectures is how you take your notes. And this was a common question that often gets asked for pre-meds. And my biggest tip, and this kind of encompasses all the degrees out there, is to not copy the PowerPoint. This is a common first year mistake. And particularly on a medical degree where it is so intense and the content is huge, you're just not gonna have the time to do it. The most important thing is to listen to what the lecturer is saying. And although we do have the occasional lecturer out there who just reads off the slide, they are not all that common. I recommend going in with a laptop, a tablet, or just a note printed out beforehand so you can annotate your notes onto the actual lecture slides. This means you're not sitting there trying to like scribble every instance of the PowerPoint before you even begin to take notice of the lecture. This is also very true for anatomy where you're gonna have to draw structures to understand the points and I, I just wouldn't even go down that path of trying to do it there. Those PowerPoints will always be there what the lecturer says may not. So I really recommend doing that. If you're printing lecture notes off, I recommend having a look through the PowerPoint beforehand. This is because they can be incredibly huge just because of pictures and sometimes lecturers do forget there is an animation button. So for every new paragraph that appears on the PowerPoint will be a new slide. So you can cut down easy that way. So that is my tips regarding lectures. So my second tip is actually deriving from a question that I get asked all the time and especially at open days it is probably the most common question that heads my way and that is how much free time do you get studying medicine and the answer to that is however much you want. You can quite easily go the entire year without studying. There is no one there to check up that you have done the work that you need to do. There is no one there to check how have you done the work you need to do? I wish that I'd learnt this lesson pretty well earlier on than I did. I fell into the trap of doing my lectures and then working till 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock each evening and basically eating dinner 20 minutes before I went to bed. And I'd repeat that four days a week. Friday I would tend to have off doing absolutely nothing and then Saturday, Sunday, I would do the exact same thing, working from about 10 till 6, 7, 8, I think even 10 o'clock one evening. And that really wasn't the best way to approach things. I was very burnt out, I was very stressed, because I'd allowed medicine to become everything in my life. The greatest advice I probably got from that sort of perspective was from one of my lecturers who gave us a lecture about revision a couple of weeks before exams. And she said to get a timetable of a week input your free time. Don't worry about your lectures, don't worry about scheduled study sessions, you put in your free time. Whether that's two hours once a week to go climbing, put that in first because that is your protected study time. 
and then fill in whatever else you need to do afterward. Not only will that study time be yours, you won't feel guilty when you're on it because you know you would have done everything else you needed to do or you know what time you're doing everything else. And that was another big problem for me was the guilt that I had when I wasn't studying. It's also really important to build in these breaks because if you let medicine become this entire being, like being in one of those orbing balls where like it's just plastic and you can't escape imagine that being medicine you can't escape and if you start struggling in medicine then your entire life becomes a struggle and believe me that is not good up here so work in those breaks force the breaks on you a really easy way to do this is to go to your med school kind of event so we have medic review and or review <laughs> rather and this happens at virtually every med school and it is basically a talking point for a couple of weeks. It's an evening where we make a mockery of the med school and we do it to raise money for charity and it is one of the best nights of the year. So go and do something you enjoy. Make sure you have that time out because it is as important, if not Im more important, than learning the physiology, learning the pharmacology, anatomy, etc. And believe me, that comes from experience. So make sure you do have that time off. My third tip, is to ask for help. There are no heroes here and as a first year medical student you are not expected to know everything. Even fully qualified doctors I've seen on the wards ask people for help. For me I had no problem going up to my friends and asking them for help and particularly on a graduate entry medical course although on some undergraduate courses there are people there who have expertise in areas that you perhaps might not. I really struggled with learning block for anatomy and this is bones and muscles, um, and I just didn't really get on with it. However, my friend has a PhD in anatomy and taught me within five minutes all the muscles of the forearm. That took me over a week to even get near to learning it, and the fact he taught me of it within five minutes kind of shows. It doesn't also have to be about academic means as well. If you're struggling outside of the medical course about anything, make sure you talk to people. I have mentioned quite a lot of times I have been in and out my deputy senior tutor's office more times than possibly I can count. But for me, knowing that someone within the med school knew what was going on took half the stress off my shoulders. So don't feel you have to go it alone. If you need help, reach out for it. So my fourth lesson I've uh, learnt over first year is to stop comparing myself to others. Particularly for undergrads, you're coming out of probably being one of the top people in your school, if not the top. You are then coming to join everyone else who is the top of their school. So you will feel like a very small fish in a big pond. However, you do not need to compare yourself to the person next to you. And in fact, if you do that, you will end up stuck more in a rut than you will do if you just learn to forget what everyone's doing. This actually came really important for me during revision because I had my way sorted and I knew that was how I worked. However, hearing people talk about uh, topics that I hadn't covered or areas that I knew I hadn't scheduled in yet, that would panic me, but then I just had to realise, actually, no, that's okay that I don't know that yet because I haven't actually covered it, so that's perfectly fine. This also comes into true when you realise you just cannot learn all of medicine. You only have to look at a medical textbook to see how big it is and realise that is all not going to go into your brain. If it does, then kudos to you, I'd quite like your memory, but it is impossible. So it is more than likely that someone else is going to know something that you don't, even as you walk into the exam room, but it's also the same amount of chance that you're going to know something they don't. So just learn to forget about what everyone else is doing, focus on you and make sure that you are doing medicine the way that you want to approach it. My final tip, because this has been a little bit of a downer, is to have fun and enjoy it. You are now a medical student, so enjoy that first time being in hospital. Enjoy that first time seeing your first patient because I wish I had taken more of it in. I spent this entire year stressing about exams that were in the summer, even on the very first day. And I kind of wish I hadn't done that because I've had so many amazing experiences this year. I think one of the weirdest things that still happens to me is going to conferences and going, oh, I'm a medical student, when all I used to do was sit there and look at other medical students and think how lucky they were. If you are ever feeling down, one of the best things I can do to recommend is think how hard you work to get to the place where you are today. Think back to that little pre-med you that was so in awe of this world and then that motivation quickly comes back. 
so yeah enjoy it and just buckle in for the ride because although it is hard although there are some days where you might feel that you can't do it believe me it is possible it just requires a little bit of hard work and time out from your studies so um i really hope you found that video useful of course everyone has their own opinions coming out of first year and people recommend different things these are just what i've picked up and what i found that helped and i will be trying to kind of put that into place next year so i will be taking time out away from medicine time out away from studies and just remembering that there is a bigger world outside of my tech book um, I really hope you found this useful and please remember to like and subscribe because that would be absolutely great and I will hope to see you all in my next video so see you later.